We asked the father to go to the tree that he was going to fall and to tell us what he's going to manage for when he falls that tree. Then he goes ahead and falls the tree and he tells us what went uh, that didn't go according to plan, what unexpected events he had. The reality is unexpected events will happen to everybody. No matter how well you're trained you are and how good you are, they're going to happen. Some of these unexpected events are effectively things where the faller is learning as he goes. And so he's adapting. And so not all unexpected events will wind up being a bad situation. Because the faller has recognized it, changed what he was doing, and carried on. So good quarter management means that you have a good plan for your quarter. Doesn't mean you have plans for individual trees yet. You normally don't go up to a faller and go, what will exactly happen to this tree? At the tree level, where the best person to know what's going on is the faller, still can't predict 100% of the time what's gonna happen. There's the uncertainty. You have to accept that, and now you have to step over it, think of ways you're gonna manage it. Fallers get information about the tree as they go along. Start picking up information from the tree as soon as they start cutting into it. Sometimes you can pick up rot from the sawdust. Depends how well aware of things you are that day. Nobody's perfect. Trees are more or less straight up and down, maybe a little one way or another way. They'll put an undercut in, they'll start their back cut, and they'll put a wedge in. Why do you put a wedge in? Well, if it comes back, then I'll wedge is there and I can just tap it over. It's hard to set a wedge after the tree's already come back. It's easy when it's already in there. So there's this uncertainty. You don't have a perfect plan when you start. <laughs> Understanding that the faller is going to adapt his plan as he goes through, it's an important thing. Now, taking that as what needs to be done, because these things are happening, so the faller needs to adapt as he's working on a tree. So the important thing, I think, is the faller and the supervisors have to start working with this. How do I help the faller adapt? Right? How do I help the faller in this period between starting to cut the tree and the trees on the ground? One thing is you might try and get some of this clouding out of their head, worrying about ambiguous regulations, worrying about other phases. Can you clear things up? Here we are today, we're going to fall this setting today in this situation. What are our problems? What can we do to make it better? So managing the person on that side, also managing the physical side, right? How is the person doing physically? What can be done for that? So I think it's the recognition that this stuff happens and now concentrating on where the solution might be. You're not going to eliminate them. The solution is not eliminating, eliminating unexpected events because I think these are the good followers that I've been working with and they're having them. So it's pretty hard you're going to eliminate them all. It's not eliminating them. It's how do you live with them? How do you manage them?